What are you the most self-conscious about? My my fat. I have a fupa too. <laughs> I go to the gym in some like short shorts. Yeah. And you could see the like camel. the camel. Fl- yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Jesus Christ. All right, Kev, how do you feel about fat? <laughs> um, Sensational. They're, they're there. <laughs> do you like fat camels or small camels? Uh, The ones with the humps in the back for me. Uh, I would rate you a eight. Okay. Nine. Okay. Uh, come on, he just f- it up, bro. Like, come on. Mm, I would say nine. All right. What about you over there? Go. Two. Emotional damn it. Okay. <laughs> I would give him a nine. Okay. What is what is he over there? I would Here. give him a ten because okay. he invited me. All right. So again. <laughs> You sound like a stupid ass bitch. <laughs> uh, you rated me a two because we're not we're not going off our interactions. We're going off beauty. I don't right? like light skinned niggas. I don't give a fuck. He's light skinned just like me, and you just gave him a nine. You gave me a two. You only gave me a two because of the whole interaction that we've been having, right? So do me a favor, get the fuck up and get the fuck out. What? But you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrificed? Thank you. Yeah, get out. Truth or dare? Dare. Suck his dick for you, dare. That's a great idea. That's a good dare. That one's kind of easy, though. If we were, like, somewhere not in public, then yes. Okay, let me get your number. We can do it later. Oh, you just got her number. You might just give it to her. You got me. (laughs) Sigh! What the hell? That's a fake number. Yeah, he gave me a fake number. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to give you the real one, though. That's her dare, though. That's not a dare. She said she was going to do your dare in private. No, she won't. Oh, yeah, she will. (laughs) All right, I'm going to hit you up. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Divorce my husband. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I'm smiling, but it ain't funny. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's... Now you see something? You know you don't fucked up, right? No! Sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. This one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. Who responsible for all these holes in the street? You? All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a a relationship and building a life with them. I should have stayed married to my husband. I felt like I was on this dark road with no street lights, pitch dark, And I couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go. I felt lost. I felt like I was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot. I felt hurt. Uh, I felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed, I was alone all by myself. And which was supposed to be soft and comfortable, comfortable for me, my pillow, it was now filled with tears. Congratulations. You played yourself. I should not have left my husband. She is so right. Respect to her honesty. Yes. And I think a lot of um, younger girls need to be, you know, they're taking heed nowadays. I think a lot of younger women are starting to understand the game. Mm. And I think older women should show them. Yeah. Give them the heads up of the possibilities. Mm -hmm. We're not saying this could be you, but we're saying, hey, look at the realities. So I commend her for, you know, giving us her personal story. But it's most likely to be you. Because mm. with that mindset, where did it get her? She's single. She's watched her husband move on and get married again, happy in their situation, and she's by herself single. Mm-hmm. It happens to so many women. We yeah. have done many podcasts like this also mm-hmm. with women saying, oh, in tears, crying in their car, saying, oh, I'm 40. And where's the time gone? I'm by myself. Mm-hmm. I'm single. I'm lonely. This is what I'm saying. There's so many videos out there displaying this so for the younger females don't be like this don't end up like this 
That's mm. why I say don't end up like this. Like she said, she thought she was better just because she got a PhD. You got a degree. And you made more money. Oh my you God. Know? Like, how does that make you she, better than she someone? She ended up worse off. Um, exactly. Last thing I'll say on that is this. Why do so many women believe when they get um, divorced, they somehow graduated from their marriages? Ladies, this is to you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Why do they do that? Why when they get married? Mm -hmm. No, why when they get divorced? <laughs> why when they get divorced from their marriages? Mm -hmm. They believe that somehow they graduated from their marriages. I know who you can like ask. Like it's a good thing. I know who you can ask. Only time will tell asking her. <laughs> People put <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> Tia will tell you the answer to that. Exactly. <laughs> Over 25, you are expired in the dating market. You are called a shenyu, leftover woman. A what? A leftover woman. After 25, you can't be picky anymore. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend. Imagine China is Leonardo DiCaprio. China is Leo. The whole China is Leo. <laughs> I dare you to say this in America. Do you go up to American girls and say, you're 25, it's done. You are already done for Leo. They would hate that policy. That they do. In China, they do that. How come you never say anything when they come up with the 25? Why don't you say that's how we do it in China. Exactly. I wanted to do that. Let me talk about it. I think Leo is just following Chinese culture. Maybe he eat too much dim sum. He won't miss the child too many times. He just have the Chinese standard. You're over 25. You're expired. The weirdest thing that ever happened to you in the bedroom. Um, a nigga started crying. Let me get this straight. Why? Because after we, you know, I was like, all right, I'm out of here. Like, you know, I don't want this. Is that good? Sensational. What's your name? Where you from? My name is Big Daddy Remy and I'm from the X. BX? The Big BX. Oh, I'm just saying TV, man. What up? Big Shot of Remy. Follow me on IG. One Shot of Remy. Gang gang. Just wanted to say uh, I think you're very beautiful because I want your number. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to have no choice but to knock your ass out. Hey. I actually have two gloves right here for you just to make it fair because girls love equality, right? So here, nigga. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to squabbling. Come on. I'm to knock your ass out. Look, it's either you give me your number. You think I'm cute? What's up? You sound what? Yeah. Go on my phone real quick. Hold on a second, girl. You playing on me. Because I got already tell you thinking nigga cute. <clears throat> yeah, let me get your number, girl. The reality is, you're 39 now. You had a high value guy before when you were younger. It's going to be significantly harder to get one now at 39. It's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. I don't think so. Men value youth and beauty. I'm um, baby. Look at me. But you're not young anymore. Uh, don't you, you? You're looking at it wrong. I'm looking at it objectively. I, uh, I, well, I don't care about my age. It's Go about three. how I look. Up. I care. Take care of myself. That's cool. You know. But um, you gotta ask yourself. It's not about what you care about. You gotta ask what do the men care about. Men. So well, why don't you ask them? They blowing up my phone. Go men, ask them. Men overwhelmingly <laughs> prefer younger women. This has been proven across all different types of you know culture, socioeconomic statuses, ages, etc. Men overwhelmingly between 18 to 60 for women that are 18 to 24. No. I, I can tell you that. I...